Hello, Namaskar, Vanaka. My name is T.S. Sudhir and you're watching Study with Sudhir, your own digital classroom as part of the SWS Natu Natu series for the board examinations of 2024. In today's episode, we will be doing a test on synthesis. Join the sentences without using and but or so, which is part of your English language examination for ICSC class 9 and 10 students. Now, these four marks should ideally be there in your pocket. Jada complicated nahi hai, jada complex banane ki bhi zarurat nahi hai. And as we go through all the questions, I'll keep explaining to you tricks that you need to bear in mind so that you don't get it wrong. And it is pretty simple. It's pretty elementary. You don't really have to. It's at least not as complex comparatively when you look also at transformation of sentences, which is about eight marks. Okay, so let's get started. But in case if you are looking for more such tests, in fact, more and more and more such quality tests on prepositions, transformation of sentences, tenses and synthesis, apart from essays, letters, notice, email and comprehension, please look at the SWS English language success test papers. It's always been along with history, civics, geography and literature been our most in-demand test series. So I would urge you to take a look at it because it will really help you prepare yourself 100% before your examination in the third week of February. Okay, so irrespective of whether you are in class 9 or 10, please take a look at all the success test papers that we have on the Study with Sudhir app or just go to studyvisudhir.com. You will find all that under courses. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so today's Natu Natu episode on synthesis, join the sentences without using and, but, or so. So let's look at the first option. He spoke in such a low voice, few could hear him. So my tip number one is always understand the two sentences that have been given. What do the two individual sentences convey? And what is their correlation? Ye samajna zaruri hai so that you don't go wrong. So, hiya par kaha gya hai ki usbo itni dhimi uh, level pe, sound level pe baat kar raha tha ki usko kafi kam log hi sun pai. Okay. So, let's look at the option. Despite speaking in such a low voice, few could hear him. Few could hear him, yet he spoke in such a low voice. Does this convey? It's not as though. Uh, he is doing it deliberately. Despite knowing that few can hear him, he still spoke in a low voice. That's not what the order of the two sentences is conveying. Speaking in such a low voice, few could hear him. No, that's not the way the sentence should be combined. He spoke in such a low voice as few could hear him. No. So the correct option for question number one is option A. Now, in this, let me tell you, अगर यहां पर ऑप्शन डी में अगर ये एस के बजाय दैट होता तो ये ठीक होता ही स्पोक इन सच ए लो वॉइस दैट फ्यू कुड हियर हिम दैट वुड हैव बीन द राइट ऑप्शन आल्सो सो आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू बोथ कुड हैव बीन ओके डिस्पाइट नाउ हियर वी आर सेइंग एज दो ही इज डूइंग इट डेलिबरेटली दैट आई मीन नॉट डेलिबरेटली दैट्स अ सेकंड सेंटेंस का मीनिंग दैट डिस्पाइट स्पीकिंग हालांकि ही वाज स्पीकिंग इन सच अ लो टोन there were few people in the audience, maybe the front row people who could hear him or those who were seated near the speakers, they could hear him, right? Understood. So understand the meaning of the two individual sentences. That's very important. The farm was very expensive. He bought it. Ki kafi mehenga farm tha, lekin usne usko kharida. Though the farm was very expensive, he bought it. Yes, this is conveying the meaning that even though that this is a condition, despite it being very expensive, he bought it. Or agar hota, the farm, farm was very cheap, he did not buy it. Despite the farm being very cheap, he did not buy it. The farm was very expensive, provided he bought it. No, he bought a very expensive farm. That's not the way you would want to convey a sentence of this. Because here there is some kind of a condition that is being suggested. Okay. And that condition is being suggested by the word though, by the use of the preposition though. 
notwithstanding the expense of the farm, he bought it. No, that's not how you would want to combine something like this. So the correct one for two is A. She's a teacher. She's a singer. Now, can a teacher be a singer? Of course, a teacher can be a singer, right? So there is no contradiction out here. Not only she is a teacher, but also a singer. Though she is a teacher, she is also a singer. So this kind of rules it out. We are not talking of a contradiction between sentence 1 and sentence 2. Hena? As soon as she is a teacher, she is a singer. As soon as she became a teacher, no, that's not what the sentence is conveying at all. So B and C are ruled out. She is a teacher as well as a singer. Yes, that's what. What is the problem with A? There are two problems in this. Ismin, when you use not only like this at the beginning of the sentence, it should be not only is she. Not only is she a singer, but also a singer. The second problem with this is the though we know that not only ke saath, but also ka istamal hota hai, lekin yaha par but ka istamal kya gaya hai, hamari condition hai ki and but or so tino ka istamal nahi hona chahiye. Right? So, on that basis, this kind of rules itself out. So, the correct option for question number three is D. She is a teacher as well as a singer. Okay. I shall go to the market. I shall buy vegetables there. My market jaunga, my vaha par vegetables kharidunga. Okay. Let's look at the options. As soon as I go to the market, I shall buy vegetables there. Now, is this. The, is, is a sense of urgency being conveyed in the two sentences? No. There is no urgency being conveyed. Ki main jaise hi market pahunchunga, main turant aur kahi nahi dekhunga, fruits nahi kharidunga, grocery nahi kharidunga, main sirf vegetables kharidunga. That's not what is being conveyed. I shall go to the market to buy vegetables. Right? Now, a sentence like this combines. You know, I'm going there, I'll buy this. So, you can combine it like this out here. I shall go. See, always remember that you need to choose the most appropriate one. The most appropriate of the four options. That is what this thing. Ho sakta hai. There could be another uh, sentence which could combine this better. But char options may say, kaun sa sabse sahi lagta hai, usko aapko choose karna hai. I shall go to the market to buy vegetables. Agar yaha par full stop laga hota, to thik tha. Lekin yaha par bandhuo ne there laga diya hai, to galat hai. Going to the market, I shall buy vegetables there. No. So, fourth, B is the right option. I am poor. I am honest. Main garib hoon, main imandar hoon. Now, is there a contradiction here? Although I am poor, I am honest. I am poor despite being honest. I am poor because I am honest. I am honest Yet I am poor. Agar yaha par ulta hota. I am poor. Yet I am honest hota. To shayad ye thik hota. Lekin is char options mein se. Pehla option. Fifth A is the right option. Samaj mein aagya? Because it's like. I am rich. I am miserly. Although I am rich. I am miserly. Main ameer admi ho. Lekin main kanjus ho. So there is a sense of. The correctness of character out here, right? So, here I am poor, but I am honest. I am not making fun of even if I don't have money. That's what is being conveyed. So, please spend a moment reading the two sentences and understanding the connection between them. We all enjoyed the story. Our professor told us the story. We all enjoyed the story. Our professor told us the story. We all enjoyed the story. Our professor told us the story. We all enjoyed the story which our professor told us. We all enjoyed when our professor told us a story. We are not talking about the time element, right? Which is being conveyed by when. So B is wrong. We all enjoyed the story of our professor. Now, can it be combined like this? Let's wait. Enjoying the story our professor told us. This is also wrong. Yaha par A is the most appropriate, most correct option. We all enjoyed the story and this is connecting it correctly. Which? Because story ko qualify karna hai or story ko qualify karta hai which our professor told us. Because 
ये जो कहानी है ये कहानी प्रोफेसर की कहानी नहीं है उसकी आत्मकथा नहीं है उसके जीवन की कहानी नहीं है सो दैट्स व्हाई बिकॉज ऑफ ऑफ दिस ऑप्शन विल बी रॉन्ग अंडरस्टूड ग्रेट अंडरस्टूड सो प्लीज हैश टैग एस डब्ल्यू एस नाटू नाटू सीरीज ओके वी विल गोड और राइट एस डब्ल्यू एस जैसे आप लोगों की लिंगों में एस डब्ल्यू एस ओपी She She read the news. She fainted. उसने खबर पढ़ी और वो फेंट हो गई ओके शी फेल अनकॉन्शियस अनकॉन्शियस शी फेंटेड आफ्टर रीडिंग द न्यूज नाउ प्लीज सी वेदर द टू सेंटेंसेस इंडिविजुअली आर दे कन्वेइंग दैट द सेकेंड पार्ट हैपन ओनली आफ्टर द फर्स्ट पार्ट गॉट ओवर नॉट नेसेसरली शी रेड द न्यूज शी फेंटेड After may not be entirely incorrect, but is that? Let's look at the other three options. दूसरी बात पहला ऑप्शन देख के ही कोई टिक मार्क मत कर देना इवन इफ इट साउंड द मोस्ट करेक्ट वन ऑलवेज गो बाई द एलिमिनेशन मेथड द वे आई एम डूइंग डिस्पाइट रीडिंग द न्यूज शी फेंटेड ये तो बिल्कुल गलत हो गया ये तो इसको तो निकाल ही दो शी रेड द न्यूज वाइल शी फेंटेड नहीं ऐसा भी नहीं है चौथा ऑप्शन क्या है ऑन रीडिंग द न्यूज शी फेंटेड that's what so the faint is a reaction to the reading of the news on reading the news obviously jo bhi usne khabar padhi usme kuch buri baat thi uski wajah se ve faint ho gayi so isme the most correct option is seventh d on reading the news she fainted of course she fainted on after sorry after reading the news but it's quite possible that while she was reading itself चक्कर आ गए और वो आराम से नीचे गिर गए ओके ही रिसीव हिज जॉब ऑफर ही ज्वाइन हिस्स न्यू ऑफिस कि उसको जॉब ऑफर मिली और उसने अपने नए दफ्तर नई नौकरी में ज्वाइन किया दो ही रिसीव हिज जॉब ऑफर ही ज्वाइन हिस्स न्यू ऑफिस ये अटपटा लग रहा है नो अंटिल ही रिसीव हिस्स जॉब ऑफर ही ज्वाइन हिस्स न्यू ऑफिस नो अंटिल क्यों हुआ भाई आई I मीन mean, जब तक है जान की बात तो नहीं हो रही है ना यहां पर द अदर डे आई गॉट ए मीम दैट विच मूवी टाइटल डिस्क्राइब्स द न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन द बेस्ट एंड वो था जब तक है जैन जे एन हैविंग रिसीव हिज जॉब ऑफर ही ज्वाइन हिज न्यू ऑफिस ये सही लग रहा है डिस्पाइट रिसीविंग हिज जॉब ऑफर ही ज्वाइन हिज न्यू ऑफिस सो बी और डी तो बिल्कुल ही अटपटे हैं सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन दैट हैविंग रिसीव बिकॉज ये हैविंग रिसीव पास्ट पार्टिसिपल का इस्तेमाल करता है इट इज कन्वेइंग दैट ये रिसीव हो चुका है और जैसे ही हुआ उसने अपने नए ऑफिस में ज्वाइन किया ओके देर इज नो कंडीशन बींग स्पोकन आउट हियर तो दो का इस्तेमाल ठीक नहीं होगा नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन ही फिनिश इस वर्क ही वेंट टू बेट उसने अपना काम खत्म किया और वो सोने चला गया फिनिशिंग इज वर्क ही वेंट टू बेड ही फिनिश इज वर्क आफ्टर ही फिनिश वेंट टू बेड नो ये तो बिफोर वाली बात है ना तो ये तो गलत हो गया हैविंग फिनिश इज वर्क ही वेंट टू बेड ही फिनिश इज वर्क टू गो टू बेड ऑफकोर्स ही वॉन्ट्स टू फिनिश इज वर्क सो दैट उसके बाद ही सोने के लिए जाए बट दैट्स नॉट वॉट द वे इट विल बी कंबाइंड दिस इज द राइट वे नाइन सी हैविंग फिनिश इज वर्क ही वेंट टू बेड की खत्म करने के बाद वो सोने के लिए चला गया देर इज समथिंग इन स्टोर फॉर हिम ही डज नॉट नो इट कि कुछ होने वाला है उसके साथ लेकिन उसको इस बात की जानकारी नहीं है ही डज नॉट नो देर इज समथिंग इन स्टोर फॉर हिम देर इज समथिंग इन स्टोर फॉर हिम प्रोवाइडेड ही डज नॉट नो इट नो ये बी कभी भी ठीक नहीं होता है ही डज नॉट नो वॉट इज इन स्टोर फॉर हिम दैट्स नॉट वॉट इज बींग कन्वेड हैविंग समथिंग इन स्टोर ही डज नॉट नो इट नो सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर टेंथ इज टेन ए समझ में आ रहा है ना स्मिता कल्टिवेट रोजेस इन हर गार्डन एंड शी डिस्प्लेस दम एट द फ्लावर शो ओके दो सेंटेंसेस का मतलब समझ लो Smita displays cultivated roses at the flower show. No, Smita cultivates roses to displays them at the flower show. Please always uh, remember that is tarah ka apko hoga to 
तो कंफ्यूज हुए जल्दबाजी में होंगे टेंशन में होंगे आप ऐसे चीजों में कंफ्यूज होकर मार्क कर देंगे ध्यान रखिएगा स्मिता कल्टिवेट्स रोजेस टू डिस्प्ले देम एट द फ्लावर शो स्मिता कल्टिवेट्स रोजेस टू डिस्प्ले एट द फ्लावर शो सो इलेवेंथ का डी इज द राइट ऑप्शन स्मिता कल्टिवेट अब आप सोचेंगे कि सी ठीक क्यों नहीं है बी और तो गलत है स्मिता कल्टिवेट्स रोजेस टू डिस्प्ले देम की जरूरत नहीं है ओके यू ऑलरेडी पुट रोजेस तो हमको मालूम है कि किस चीज को डिस्प्ले करना है सो ये देम की जरूरत नहीं है सो शी कल्टिवेट्स रोजेस टू इन ऑर्डर टू डिस्प्ले एट दी फ्लॉर शो मिस्टर अयर वॉज ऑलवेज पंचुअल दिस वॉज समथिंग ही प्राइडेड हिमसेल्फ ऑन ओके कि वो हमेशा टाइम पे आता था और इस पर उसको काफी गर्व था मिस्टर अयर पंचुअलिटी वॉज समथिंग ही प्राइड हिमसेल्फ ऑन सी ये वर्ब गलत है टेंस गलत है तो ये गलत हो गया मिस्टर अयर पंचुअलिटी वॉज समथिंग ही प्राइडेड हिमसेल्फ ऑन मिस्टर अयर वॉज ऑलवेज पंचुअल येट दिस वॉज समथिंग ही प्राइडेड हिमसेल्फ ऑन नो मिस्टर अयर वॉज ऑलवेज पंचुअल एज दिस वॉज समथिंग ही प्राइडेड हिमसेल्फ ऑन सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ट्वेल्व बी इस पर ध्यान दीजिए लूसी ने अपना सूटकेस खोला ये इनफैक्ट ये काफी सारे मेरे स्टूडेंट्स के प्री बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन के पेपर्स में आए थे सो दिस इज सम ऑफ द लेवल दैट मेनी ऑफ द स्कूल प्री बोर्ड पेपर्स आर एट सो यू गेट ए गुड आइडिया एंड विद दिस यू कैन काइंड ऑफ गेज की आपकी प्रिपरेशन कैसी है लूसी ओपन द सूटकेस शी फाउंड हर ज्वेलरी मिसिंग एज सुन एज लूसी फाउंड हर ज्वेलरी मिसिंग शी ओपन द सूट नो हालांकि हुआ यह होगा हालांकि हुआ यह होगा कि अरे ज्वेलरी नहीं मिल रही मैं सूटकेस में ढूंढ लेती हूं लेकिन दैट्स नॉट व्हाट द ऑर्डर ऑफ द सेंटेंस इज कन्वे ओके सो ए इज रूल्ड आउट एज सुन एज लूसी ओपन द सूटकेस शी फाउंड हर मिसिंग ज्वेलरी एज सुन एज लूसी ओपन द सूटकेस शी फाउंड हर ज्वेलरी मिसिंग हार्डली डिड लूसी ओपन द सूटकेस देन शी फाउंड हर ज्वेलरी मिसिंग ओके इट्स नॉट अबाउट दैट सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सी और यहां पर देखिए इट्स नॉट दैट शी फाउंड इट देयर She actually found it missing, jewelry missing और missing jewelry में जमीन आसमान का फर्क है Confuse मत होइएगा Okay, please students take, I mean pay attention to the order of the words. Okay, missing jewelry और jewelry missing में बहुत फर्क है Okay, so the correct option would be C. Kolkata is densely populated. It is one of the major cities in the country. Kolkata is one of the most densely populated major cities in the country. No other major city in the country is more densely populated than uh, Kolkata. That is not what is a. It is one of the because यहाँ पर लिखा है. It is densely populated. It is one of the. At no stage we are being told that Kolkata में ही सबसे ज़्यादा population density है. That is not what we are being told. Okay. So यहाँ पर in option a which is the correct option it is combining it correct it is one of the most densely populated it is one of the major cities no other major city ye galat hai kolkata's dense population is one of the most major in this country no kolkata is the most densely populated that's not what the two sentences are conveying she makes beautiful handcrafted dresses she earns a lot she earns a lot in making ब्यूटिफुल हैंड क्राफ्टेड ड्रेसेस नाउ यहां पर आपको प्रपोजिशन पर टेस्ट किया गया है ओके शी अर्न अ लॉट बाय मेकिंग ब्यूटिफुल हैंड क्राफ्टेड ड्रेसेस शी अर्न अ लॉट विद मेकिंग शी अर्न अ लॉट ऑन मेकिंग सो यहां पर करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज फिफ्टीन बी वी प्लेस अर ऑर्डर लेट वी रिसीव द फूड ऑन टाइम ओके नाउ यू सी कि हमने लेट ऑर्डर किया फिर भी हमको खाना रेस्टोरेंट पे सही टाइम पर मिल गया Despite placed or order late, we receive the food on time. Despite placed, तो कभी नहीं होगा ये गलत है ये गलत है In spite placing or order late, we receive the food on time. यहां पर off missing है तो ये भी गलत हो गया Despite we placed or order late, we receive the food on time. यहां पर भी वी की जरूरत नहीं है तो ये भी गलत हो गया Despite placing or order late, we receive the food on time. This is the right option. सिक्सटींथ D. सेवनटींथ वन Amit makes a wish. it is immediately fulfilled no sooner does amit make a wish than it is immediately fulfilled as soon as amit makes a wish it is fulfilled 
As soon as Amit makes a wish, it is immediately fulfilled. Hardly does Amit make a wish when it is fulfilled. Ye D to galat hai because it's not talking about a continuous kind of a situation. Yaha par B is the right one. In dono jaga pe immediately use nahi hoga. Okay. Immediately use nahi hoga because as soon as ya no sooner dono hi convey karte hai ek immediacy ko to aapko immediately shabd use karne ki zarurat katai nahi hai. Ye yad rakhiega. Okay. You will have to complete the work by this evening. I will pay you the full amount. Okay. Ki sham ta complete kardo, ta me tumko pura amount de dunga, pesa de dunga. Charazar rupe ka kam karnata, me tumko pura charazar rupe, a sham ko de dunga, lekin shirt he ki tumko, ye kam sham ta katam karna padega. You will have to complete the work by this evening as I will pay you the full amount. I mean, tumko ye karna padega because main sham ko 6 baje tumko puri uh, rashi dene wala hu. Okay, puri dhan rashi. Jaise KBC mein Amitabh Bachchan bolte hain, dene wala hu. Okay, kya kijiyega ek crore rupay ka? I will pay you the full amount yet you will have to complete the work by this evening. Ye to bilkul hi galat hai. I will, I will pay you the full amount Provided that you complete the work by this evening. So, here the word is the Provided means that this is a word that you have to do this work until the evening. If you complete the work by this evening, I will pay you the full amount. Okay. But the way the sentences are, you have to complete the work, I will pay you the full amount. So, uh, this is, I mean, this order, I will pay you the full amount. Provided you complete. So this is the main part. Ki main tumko de dunga. Lekin shart ye hai. Ki tumko apna kaam sham tak khatam karna padega. This sentence also kind of conveys. So this C and D are pretty close to each other. Ki agar tum sham tak khatam kar doge. Like I will pay you the thing. Lekin yaha par that shart ka uh, sense is being conveyed much better by the use of the word provided. Okay. That's what I said. The most appropriate option is what you need to use. Clear your dues, then you will be given your roll numbers. Clear your dues, uh, then you will be given your roll numbers. Unless you clear your dues, you will be given your roll numbers. Ye galat ho gaya. Unless you do not clear your dues, you will be given your this thing. Ye bhi galat ho gaya. Uh, uh, clear your dues provided you will be given your roll numbers. Ye bhi galat ho gaya. To option D. Unless you clear your dues, you will not be given. Jab tak tum apne dues ko clear nahi karoge exam se pehle, aapko admit card ke roll number nahi diya jayega. His unexpected, aap sabko mil gaya ke admit card ya abhi, I think January ke third ya fourth week mein milenge ya February first week mein, right? His unexpected victory surprised everybody. The last one, 20th question. His unexpected victory. Jeet ki umeed nahi thi. Aur jab wo jeeta, usse kaafi logon ko aashcharya hoa. Okay. His unexpected victory took everyone by surprise. Took everyone with surprise. Again, prepositions ka maamla hai. His unexpected victory took everyone in surprise. To surprise. So the correct option is B. Uh, sorry, A. His unexpected victory took everyone by surprise. Okay. So with this, we come to the end of this episode of the SWS Natu Natu series 2024. I hope this has been of use to you. Subscribe to the channel, press on the bell icon so that you can get regular notification. Share the video with your friends so that the more you share, you will also get reciprocated by your classmates and friends. Tata, bye-bye. God bless you. Namaskar.